Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I have a fun 3D craft to do with you guys today using products from the Felicity Jane Kit uh, Bailey for the month of February. Uh, if you were not following me on Instagram, you should be <laughs> at Lindsay Decor 413 but I shared last week over there that we were involved in a car accident, my family was, and so I wanted to create a thank you gift for my friend who uh, was running us around and ran the kids to school and kind of helped us out during all that time. So I thought I'd put together a little thank you box with a gift card. I don't have the gift card yet, but I do have a pink card um, to give myself some sizing as we go through the video. But I wanted to have a little box that I could put some treats in and and a little gift card and a little thank you. Um, and I think that the Bailey collection is perfect for that because it's super girly and all about love and being sweet and um, is perfect for creating Valentine's if you guys were doing that in February. I did not do that, so I have plenty of extra goodies that I can use for this project. So uh, I've already gone ahead and cut out uh, this piece here using one of the 12 by 12 papers from the collection. Um, this was a Silhouette Studio cut file that I found. I'll try to put the uh, cut file ID number down in the description box for you guys. It is in the Silhouette Studio store, so this is not from Felicity Jane, but Felicity Jane does have some of their own cut files. You can just search Felicity Jane in the Silhouette Studio uh, shop, um, but I just went ahead and scaled this up as big as I could fit on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and used my Silhouette Cameo die cutting machine to cut it. It out uh, and then I also have a piece of uh, pattern paper cut to five inches by four inches and I'm going to be creating a little pocket with that to hold the card using this um, pop pocket punch board um, and I'll have everything linked down below for you guys so I already went ahead and did my measurements but let me go ahead and put you on fast forward and we will put together this little box Okay, so I'm gonna start by going through this cut file and folding along all of the perforations. This particular cut file does go ahead and cut in the perforations for you, so it's super, super simple. And the box is designed to um, kind of hold itself together. You only really need one small piece of tape to hold it together. And I would typically use a heavy cardstock for a project like this, but that is the nice thing about the Felicity Jane pattern papers is they are a heavy enough weight um, that they work perfect for 3d projects like this I don't feel like I need to back it with you know two pieces of paper or um, switch to a cardstock instead but I am going to use a super super sticky double-sided adhesive on this little flap here and throughout the project just to make sure that it stays together and so this is the one little spot that it needs tape you can add some adhesive to the bottom flaps if you wanted to really reinforce it or if you're going to have something heavy in the little box um, but it's designed to just kind of fold together just like this and for what I'm using it for that is perfect I didn't need to add more adhesive I also love that the Felicity Jane papers are double-sided so you get that little pop of black and white on the inside um, design. So it's, they're just perfect for projects like this. When I scaled this up to fill the entire 12 by 12 sheet, it does make it so that back panel is perfectly sized for a gift card. So I'm gonna create a little pocket to adhere to the outside there. So I'm using this um, pocket punch board. I used the little paper sheet here. Um, you determine what size pocket you want and then it'll tell you where to put the little pegs and what size paper to cut and it gives you all the directions but it's very very simple um, to put together there are lots of tutorials on youtube for how to use this punch board probably way better tutorials than i could ever <laughs> explain it because it can be a little bit tricky um, it's easier to get your hands on it and just kind of play with it to understand how um, how to align things um, but it does come with a little bone folder so you can score um, al along the edges and create this little folded pocket and you do have the option to create a pocket with a flap or without a flap so I'm doing one without a flap again I'm using that uh, super sticky adhesive just to make sure that everything stays together um, before I deliver it to her and so it just needs a little piece of adhesive here where the two edges come together and then one on the bottom flap as it comes up and I'm going to fight with adhesive periodically through this video. I do try to cut out as much as I can. Um, try not to mess up my nail polish when I'm crafting. I don't know about you guys, but that's a constant battle for me. And then I'm going to go ahead and just adhere this bottom flap down here. And all I did to determine what size to make this, I measured the card, the gift card, and then um, gave myself a little bit of wiggle room and then used those measurements to determine what size pocket. 
It also comes with a spot where you can punch a little notch there. So it's easy to um, pull a gift card out. You got a little snapshot of my phone there as I'm taking photos for the blog as I film. Um, you don't usually get to see that. So there's a little sneak peek of behind the scenes. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this to the back side of this little baggie. You could also stick this inside with the treats, um, but I didn't want it to get messed up or anything like that. And I thought it would just add another fun element to the outside of this box. So I'm gonna go ahead and just adhere it to the back side of the um, box. I'm trying to decide if I like one side over the other to be the front. Uh, luckily the patterned paper worked out perfect for this particular cut file. For the inside, I am going to use some of this tissue paper that came in my Felicity Jane box when I got my Bailey kit. So don't throw that tissue paper away. You can reuse it. But they also sell um, gift wrap um, tissue paper and ribbons and things like that in the uh, shop. So I will have those linked down below for you guys if you're interested in that. This particular box file allows you to add a ribbon to close it, which is perfect for these new cotton ribbons that Felicity Jane came out with. These are really nice stiff uh, ribbon and this particular set is in colors to coordinate with the Bailey collection. And I thought all ribbon were, was kind of made the same, but I was wrong because this cotton ribbon is amazing. It's stiff enough that it really holds a bow shape bow shape very well um, and it's got a little bit of texture to it so it doesn't untie easily so it won't just fall apart the bow um, kind of holds itself together but before I tie the bow I am going to create a little tag to add on to here and I'll probably just write a little thank you note on the back of this tag before I hand off this gift. But I'm layering a couple of tags. Um, the smaller heart tag is from the Bailey collection. And then the black and white um, tag is from a past collection. I'll try to have it linked down below if it's still in the shop. Uh, I like to mix and match past collections. Uh, especially because there's pieces that are usually you know black and white or colors that are repeated. So it's very easy to mix and match. But on the front of the tag, I'm going to use one of those um, heart die cuts. And then I also popped out that Your Sweet chipboard sticker. And I like that you can pop these out and have the backer on them. They are stickers, but you can leave the backer on there. That way you can kind of test out where you want the sticker to go before you stick it down. Um, it's just a fun way to add um, some dimension to your projects. So that's going to go on the front of the tag and then I can thread this through the ribbon and then go ahead and tie my bow. And I kind of fuss with my bow. I am not a bow expert. <laughs> so don't watch my videos to learn how to make pretty bows. That's not um, a talent of mine, but I eventually get it. And that's the nice thing about this ribbon is it's structured enough that um, even if it's a messy bow, it does still hold its form and still looks presentable. It was totally doable. So I went ahead and left myself plenty of tails just to give myself wiggle room as, as, as I was creating the bow. And then I just trimmed those tails down. You could probably create this in a less wasteful way than I did, but again, bows are not my talent. I, for this one, I did go ahead and just cut the tails off straight across, and then I'm just going to go back in with my detail scissors and create a little fishtail end on here. You could also just cut it at an angle, and I did find that um, this held up well. I don't have to worry about the ends of this ribbon fraying, which is also a plus to that particular ribbon. All right, I grabbed one of these label die cut pieces and then I grabbed these puffy alpha stickers. These are actually from the Madison collection. I love the pink ones that came with Bailey, um, but these are a little bit smaller and they fit better on this label. So I'm just gonna put her name on there. I really was gonna try to use the pink ones, but they were just a little bit big for this particular um, label that I'm using. And this is a smaller project, so I figured the smaller um, alphas would work. Before I stick that down, I'm gonna add some staple detail. It'll look like it's stapled on the front of the box, but it won't be. You guys will know that it's not because I'm gonna use some double-sided adhesive um, on the back side here. So there is the front of my box there. And now we can work on embellishing the back. So I went through the die cuts and just picked out some that I thought would work well for here. I don't need to embellish it too much. 
um, you know, I don't expect her to hold on to this. It's just going to hold some candy in the gift card, but I thought it'd be fun to add some cute little embellishments on the back as well. So I grabbed a heart and then this little sentiment here that says hugs and kisses. And again, using a staple detail. And then I decided to go ahead and pull out the Bailey epoxy heart stickers and just add a couple of those um, on the back here as well. And they do come in several sizes, so you can make a little cascade of hearts. Works just perfect back there. And that is gonna be it for this little gift box. I'll go and pick up her favorite chocolates from the little coffee shop that we visit after we go to the gym. I'll stick a Starbucks gift card in there and she's all good to go. I'm just so appreciative of her help during that crazy, crazy week that we had. We are all safe. Just in case you guys are wondering, nobody got too hurt. Car was totaled, but it's all good to go now. So there's a look at the finished product. You can find close-up photos on the Felicity Jane blog, as well as more details. Check out the description box for links to everything that I used. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.